Hey y'all, what's up? Let's jump into this video. Let me clear my throat. <coughs> okay, so today I'll actually be trying out a combination by Kimberly Shirell. I'm not sure if you know her. If you're not, if you don't, then you're definitely sleeping under a rock. I will leave her information down below. She does a lot of wash and goes. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, she does a lot of wash and goes, and one of the combinations that she tried was the Miel Organics Curl Sculpting Custard and Extreme Wet Line Gel. So, um, I actually picked this up because of that video. Her hair looks so good in that video, so I wanted to test it out. And I am not a newbie to Extreme Wet Line Gel, okay? I was on Wet Line Gel back in like 2013, 2014, before the children were on it and I got receipts because I, I included this product in a five under five video. I used to do those a lot back in the day. So I'm not new to this, I'm true to this, okay? She applied the leave-in in the shower. So I'm already failing my version because I didn't do that, <clears throat> but it's okay because I forgot it. I did not want to come out of the shower to do that. So we're just going to do it on camera. And then we're going to move on. Okay. So it's very disrespectful. The leave-in I'll be using today is the uh, Miel Organics Pomegranate and Honey Leave-In Conditioner. This is a new line to me. I got it for Black Friday. If you haven't seen my Black Friday haul where I spent like, or I spent like a hundred, like I bought like a hundred, hundred thousand. You got money. And a large popcorn. A large? You got money. He got money. Get it all for him. Um, a thousand dollars worth of hair products, definitely check it out. Um, so this product has been out for a year, but I've never used it before. So today we're going to test it out. This is what it looks like. I like that it looks kind of clear because that means that it's less likely for my, for the wash and go to flake if I'm using clear products. So I like that. Ooh, this is nice. Oh, this is real nice. And I'm working in big sections because I don't want to put too much product because I am notorious for adding too much product. So if I do it in bigger sections, I'm less likely to use a lot. Because usually in small sections, I'm applying like a glob on baby sections. So when you know better, you attempt to do better. So that's done. Um, my hair feels great. Why y'all so fake? Why y'all so fake? Why didn't y'all tell me this was A1? This leave-in is awesome. My hair feels great. Um, so there's that. Now we're going to move on to the custard. Um, okay. All right, we here, we out here. So, boom. This is what this looks like. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna use this much. You can't even tell, I don't know why I'm even showing you, because you can't really tell. Let's see my mirror. Oh, definitely not enough by itself for definition. It's one of those products. Mm. 
you're in a way like I could try to make this work, but it will probably be just a fluffy frowy wash and go. So that's not gonna work. But keep hitting my mic. But the shine is nice. So I keep going. And just apply this to the rest of my hair as well. It smells great. It doesn't smell like pomegranate. It smells fruity and fragrancy and perfumey. But it smells good. Don't, don't, don't get it twisted. It smells great. But it doesn't smell like a real pomegranate. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Um, but smells great. It's sticky. Let's look at the ingredients. I didn't do that. For the uh, for the leave-in water glycerin second ingredient pectin which basically is a thickener not basically it is a thickener that's what creates the gel hydrolyzed cornstarch again it creates the gel and polysorbate 20 and then xanthan gum it's interesting because the first five ingredients are very similar to the shea moisture make it last wash and go if you haven't seen my review on that product definitely check it out right here but um so i can tell the performance of those products are similar because they're doing the same thing where it's like it kind of defines but not enough um but check out that video to see my thoughts. I don't want to give it all away in this video if you haven't seen it. Yeah, same kind of consistency, even though I think, which is crazy, this is a bit thicker. And I thought when I first got this product, it was so thin. But that product is even thinner than this one. I guess it has more water content. Yeah, definitely by itself. Shine for days. It needs a bit more hold. Like, this looks pretty good. But it would be a fro in no time. So I see why she layered it. So I just wanted to show you what it looks like before I added the gel. I mean, it don't look too bad. But you can tell it needs something, right? Like, this would be okay if I was going for a fro fluffy type. But if I do use this by itself without a heavier gel, I would do a twist out because I'm tired of these little custards um, making my hair shrink up. So I'm just going to keep applying the products as my hair is. If you want the best definition, the best, do it on soaking wet hair. But she also goes under a hooded dryer for every, almost every style that she does. And if you don't know, I don't use heat, so I'm not going to do that. Um, because I'm low porosity and very low, like low to the ground low, and I don't want to deal with the drying time. So I do understand my results would not be as A1 because I'm not adding more water, but I, I shan't and I can't, okay? Because I know my hair and I know it, it takes forever to dry. And I don't use hooded dryers no more. Okay. I don't know why I'm doing that. Like, you can really see it. But. I remember having a really popping tin wash and go, like, two summers ago with activator. I think it was a Hawaiian silky, which I used to love, especially when my hair was heat damaged because it defined my curls so well. And extreme wet line gel and my wash and go was popping tin if I have a picture I'll include it but I probably don't because I was trash about taking hair pictures everything was about fashions and this is a girl definition of the I miss I've been fucking around with a lot of Lucy goosey gels that didn't get my wash and go really popping. So with this wet line, I'm like, sis, come through with the come through. Let me wipe my hands off because this bottle is childish. This is my dye shirt. And I'm heavy handed with gel. Oops. 
because my hair is kinky and I'm also not applying water so I gotta use a bit more just a bit more I love that my hair is not white, which is awesome because I use pretty clear products. I really love that the Mia leave-in is pretty clear. You can see the difference between the extreme wet line side and the custard side it's kind of subtle but you can see it there's way more definition on this side than this side even though this ain't too bad so let's just continue and finish up so this is what my hair looks like final results I look like I got Dominican on my daddy's side. <laughs> now, I haven't seen my hair this defined in a long time. Because I've been messing around with some lighter gels. Or maybe the Sultanicals gel. But this is still definitely better. For a fraction of the cost. I wonder what this looks like. Sometimes you don't even know what your curls can do until you see what they can do I'm going to dry this y'all know my hair takes 10 years to dry so I'll be back tomorrow when it's dry um there's little frizz which is good that's what extreme wet line does of course it would have been more defined I done this on soaking wet hair, but ain't nobody got time for that. So I'm just gonna air dry. Does my skin look good? I feel like I'm glowing. This champagne robe got me glowing, y'all. Woo! I have no lotion on my face. I'm dry, okay? I put on some Carmax. But anywho, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you when this dries. Okay, y'all, this fabulousness, looking at the monitor, this is third day hair. Today is Friday morning. I washed my hair and I styled my hair on Wednesday morning. So this is third the third day and it's still looking pop a lock in. There's definition even in my bang areas that usually get very frizzy. That is still staying intact, even though I walk home walk to work and I walk home from work I still have bomb definition the results of this product so I actually do enjoy this combo I do plan to switch it up maybe just trying the custard by itself with the extreme wet line gel but I mean extreme wet line gel has been a long time favorite and I always get these type of curls so I'm not I wouldn't just go out and get the custard just for a wash and go i'll have to keep testing it but i do like this combination i don't have anything to say about it y'all know i have i'm always flake city and there's no flakes up and through my hair so that's good there is a bit of like residue a little bit when i um shake it out um but that happens regardless of what I use by the third day with low porosity hair, at least my low porosity hair. I didn't have these issues the first few days. As it gets older, it starts to, like, the product breaks down more because it really just sits on top of your hair. All the product doesn't penetrate because of the low porosity hair. Blah, 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 blah. I don't want to get too deep into that. So I do have a tad bit of flaking on this third, third day, but nothing too serious. Overall, I love my hair. It looks good. I did refresh it with some oil. Um... 
pomade and juices and berries if you haven't seen my review on oyen check it out right here it's bomb well the review well the review was bomb but these products are bomb and yeah this is what my hair looks like so this combination is a win okay Kimbo Kim Chi gang up in here um this was actually a good combo and I really do love it but I got to go so I'll talk to y'all later love you so much and take care